Hi guys! Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. <laughs> um, this video is just going to be a what I do over spring break. And today is Monday, so today is the first day. I am also going to do a little update on like hiring process, interview process, looking for a job type stuff. Because that is what I'm going to be doing um, for the next couple months. Well, hopefully not that long, but you never know. So, let's get started. So, that being said, today we were supposed to have a JV softball scrimmage. If you didn't know, I coach JV softball. So, we were supposed to have that scrimmage today um, at home, but it did snow over the weekend and only our varsity field is turf. So, JV did get canceled and rescheduled to away tomorrow. So, I will have an away softball scrimmage tomorrow. And for today, we are just going to be practicing hitting, um, like a little hitting warm up, and then watching the varsity scrimmage. I also hope to finish this book today every summer after. I am about mm, two thirds of the way done and I read it all yesterday. So I'm really hoping to finish this today. Okay, so it is now Tuesday of my spring break and just got out of the shower. We had practice this morning and it was actually really nice out. It was about 45 degrees and um, the sun was out. So we had about an hour and a half practice this morning. And our theme, because this over spring break, we're doing a theme. And today's theme was Hawaiian. Um, and I'll insert a picture and I think the girls, um, some girls uh, went all out for it. And it was really cute. Tomorrow's theme is USA, so I'm excited to see like what they come up with for tomorrow. But I just wanted to sit on the couch and kind of talk to you guys about my life update, things I'm going to be looking forward to doing the next couple months besides coaching softball. So if you didn't know, I'm a first year teacher. Um, I'm an ESSER teacher, so the position I'm in is funded by COVID and it's a one year position. I'm thankful that I have one regular algebra class and then the rest are all like math support, um, algebra intervention, things like that, um, to help them pass state tests, get them ready for the state tests, um, things like that. So classes, some of them aren't for a grade, so it's really hard to get kids to do things. But my algebra class, I'm really, really loving. And I think this was a good position, you know, get my feet wet, um, being a first year teacher. So, and then, so that's a little bit about my position that I'm currently in. My husband is in dental school and he is graduating in technically his last days in April, but he graduates in, place in May. And we are looking to move back to Michigan, back to where we are both from, where our parents are. And that's because if we plan on starting a family, you know, his siblings are having kids. It just, you know, kind of makes sense for both of us. And that means I will be leaving my position my dogs are going crazy. Um, that means I will be leaving my position and I will be looking for a job. And as you know, we're rolling into that time for teachers to be looking for a job, interviewing, getting my resume ready. Um, I'll insert a clip where I have all my tabs of all the school districts that I'm looking at currently. And I kind of look at them every single day, just refresh, see if they have any positions opening. So the next couple months, we'll be like doing that a lot. And I'm not really looking forward to it. Um, but I have most of my letter of recommendations. I'm still waiting for one of my letter of recommendations from my mentor teacher this school year. Um, but a lot of my like other stuff is done. My resume, I have a teacher website. I have a brochure that I made. Um, I have a couple of references, things like that. So I think I'm kind of prepared for that. I think I'm most nervous about the interviews. So if you have any interview tips or suggestions of what to wear, things like that, please leave them in the comments below because I will definitely be looking for any tips on that. We're both moving back, looking for interviews. Another thing is getting ready for a house and or apartment or renting. And we've been renting for like three years now, four years since he's been in dental school and we kind of really don't want to rent again. But since he's been in school, gonna have a lot of debt. I, you know, as teachers, we make what we make. We don't know if we will have enough to buy a house currently, um, if we should save some more. You know, that's a big thing we're looking at. And 
obviously our lease is up in June here so we're looking to move back in June after the school year but the problem is it's hard to get a house or look for places when we're not currently there so that kind of is like another bump in the road with everything else going on so we'll be you know looking for places to live stay obviously both our parents are there so we do have somewhere to go we're not going to live in a cardboard box even though we joke about that oh i guess we'll just live in a cardboard box um but yeah so that's kind of where we're at with that and um obviously coaching softball our games are officially starting next week we have one more scrimmage over spring break and then games start next week and then in april and then in april we have like three or four games a week and like almost every saturday so i will be pretty busy with softball along with like job searching along with house searching just everything in general is a lot so i am just telling you all about it so that i can take you along on this journey with me um so that's kind of where we're at with my life updates just a lot gonna start going on and i think it's gonna fly by really fast because april is also state testing so we have all the air tests, all the PSAT, SAT, all the state testing in April too. So I think it's all just going to fly by. So I'm just soaking in the last few moments of peace and quiet for spring break. Um, I've been reading. So um, I finished the Every Summer After. And my next book I'm going to be reading is I'm going to start the Throne of Glass series. Um, but if you want any of my reviews from any books... My February book video is coming out um, soon, hopefully this week or next week. I know it's almost April, but um, just been super busy. So by the books I read in February, I read three of them. And then obviously soon in April, hopefully before the middle or end of April, I will have my March reads out, which includes Every Summer After. And then we'll include the beginning of the Throne of Glass series as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you some updates. Um, I'll take you along with me the rest of the spring break. Nothing too exciting going on, just softball. And then I might do a little bit of shopping. But one exciting thing is we have um, my husband's dental formal on Saturday. I'm actually really excited. It's kind of like a prom, but for like all the dental students. Um, so it's actually really cool. We went to it last year. And um, this year it's actually really cool because it is at the Brown Stadium. So I'm like looking forward to that. And I think that'll be really fun. Um, I have a couple of dress options, but I need to find shoes, so that will probably on my, be on my list to do as well this week. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, give my life update and have you come along with me on my journey, and I will see you next time I check in sometime this spring break. So it is now Friday, March 24th, and... Nothing really exciting has been going on, just softball practice and, you know, reading a little bit of my book here and there. I did go to Alta yesterday, um, but it was okay. I didn't really get anything. Um, and then today we do have our scrimmage. We have our scrimmage today at 5 p.m., so I will be going there and I will probably insert some clips from our scrimmage. And then tomorrow, um, Saturday, I don't have anything going on besides... Um, my husband's dental formal, so this is his last year of dental school, and we went last year, and I'm super excited to go tomorrow, so that's the only thing. I'll have to get ready for that tomorrow, and then Sunday is just a relaxing, uh, get ready back for school on Monday, um, so my spring break was pretty boring. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm excited to bring you along on my interviewing job searching process and moving back home process and be on the lookout for my March and February reads. Um, I think I'm going to combine them two together since it's already the end of March. So be on the lookout for that video.